What's up dudes? This is Noel on the PlayStation, and today we are going to look at a very lucrative experience mission. Yes, it's not like an infinite experience type cheat, but it's pretty darn good. It has a really good experience return, it has a very good cash value return. So let's show you guys how it works. You just start by the same way you start any other jobs. You go into online, you go into jobs, you go to host a job. This is one you can do alone or with a friend. It doesn't really seem to matter. But in the Rockstar Created Missions is one called Potshot. You may have heard of this glitch already. If so, you just continue on and go watch some PewDiePie or something. But if you haven't heard of this, definitely give this a watch because this is the mission right now. This is the new criminal records. Very, very easy to do, so I encourage you to put it on the hard. Get that extra one and a half times. I got lots of ammo, so I'm just going to jump right in. You can, Like I said, you can play this with a friend, or you can play this alone. It's very easy, so doing it alone, you know, if your friends aren't online, you feel like playing, but you don't really know what to do, do this. Farm some experience. Now again, this isn't like an infinite money experience. This is, this is, you're gonna have to put in a lot of time. I'm at level, of, just about level 70. What level am I at? Yeah, I'm at level 69. So it's gonna take me at least 15 or 20 uh, repeats of this to get a level. But in the, in the low levels, I'm sure it would only take you a few trips and you get a level. So this is the mission. We, it put us out in the boonies here, which is nice. We don't actually have to drive out here. So what you do is you start on the highway. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like we lost a tire already. What you want to do is jump down onto the highway here like you saw me do. Grab a truck. It's important that you try and grab something that's very heavy. You'll see why in a moment. But you just follow this road north. And you'll see the blue dot on the map there. That is the van. But just before the van, you do have some opposition. So bring out your micro SMG, your handgun, whatever you've got currently, bring out your biggest gun that you can shoot from the vehicle, and I just stop right here, and I just light these two assholes up. You can see them ahead there. Got one. And two. Alright, so I just burn rubber up here and just smash myself into the corner of the bridge, hop out. Now that van is going to try and get down here, but he's not going to have much luck getting through the 4,000 pound delivery truck. Boom! So he hit him. Now he's got nowhere to go. So all I have to do is just destroy him and get the truck out of the way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's okay. You got, you got the extra life. You know, when you're doing a mission alone, you get like one death. Die, motherfucker! Damn it. Okay, or don't. Or don't. That's fine. Your HMO will be able to stitch you up. Obamacare and all. Alright, so we've got the van. Thanks, suckers. And we're just going to follow the, follow the yellow line. Yellow brick road. One opportunity here. You'll see a sign on the left. There it is there. And just deke in behind this pole. You can get down onto the highway, keeping all your speed. If you try and do it before the sign, there's some kind of fucking weird invisible fence and just can't punch through it. So drop in behind the sign if you if you care at all about doing this really fast. Every second counts. This mission only takes about, I don't know, I'm not timing it, but it feels like around five minutes. Um, the, the seemingly this drive to Trevor's house is what takes the longest, but the more speed you can keep up, the faster you can do this, of course, you might get that a few extra playthroughs in uh, per hour, say. And it probably would take me probably about an hour of doing this to level up. I said I'd need about 15 or 20 tries at five minutes a piece. Is, yeah, about an hour. Here, just up ahead, is Trevor's house. We're almost there. drive around the back and throw it into his garage. Obviously we've just stolen this, so he wants it to remain concealed. Watch out for his busted up washing machine there. There we go. That is Potshot. 
beginning to end. Cool. Hey, listen, did you uh, bring any fiber or something? I'm a little backed up. All right, you know what? Ron will take care of that. There we go. So as I said, the reward is pretty lucrative. We get about $7,000, and we get about 1,500 experience. And it took all of five minutes. Now, when you get to this screen, here's a handy little trick. Just start button mashing square. Square, 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 square. And it should just restart the mission. So we can go confirm settings. And play. Yes, I do wish to start alone. And guys, that is the current high yield experience and cash farming mission. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know you guys love the Grand Theft Auto videos. Obviously, you guys are playing the shit out of this game right now, just like I am. So I encourage you to follow the drop down and uh, give me a sub. You know, it helps us rank, helps more people see us. And the more people that see us, the more game ideas we can get. Speaking of which, someone told me about Starbound. If you haven't checked that game out yet, you must. It's an awesome little... 8-bit looking, like, Super Nintendo-y kind of MMORPG looking motherfucking game. It looks awesome. So I highly encourage everyone to go out and play that. But in the meantime, guys, until next time, cheers. <laughs>